I walked in town on silver spurs the jingle too. G'day fellow moto vloggers, uh, Bandit Nev on uh, Ruby the Suzuki Bandit coming to you from uh, Adelaide, uh, South Australia mm. on a quite nice day I'm heading up into them their hills for a small ride out uh, unlike yesterday had a bit of a um, bit of a ride out, I'll tell you about that later, but the subject today is the haves and haves not. In this country, in any country, do you think the gap is getting wider and wider? Um, and why? Well, I think it's because there's uh, no work here. The job's or the jobless rate is getting bigger and bigger and the bigger it gets the more crime will happen uh, why is the jobless rate so bad well because everything's going offshore which everyone knows it's happening in all countries and uh, this is why I believe the uh, the gaps getting bigger and quite frankly the, do the government doesn't give a rat's, a rat's toss bag why well, because in recent times, we've had a federal minister, a federal liberal minister, broadening the system, using taxpayers' money to fly up to uh, the Gold Coast and buy property to feather her own nest, and that is Susan Lay. I'm not saying others don't do it. They probably do. But... You'd think they'd learn, because there's other ministers that have been uh, sacked because of all this, using taxpayers' money to hire helicopters and such. But no, they don't learn. They still only think of themselves and let's feather our own nest. And this is why the gap's getting larger and larger. So there's another one that's hit the headlines recently. And he's a bigger buffhead than... Uh, the one that's just got sacked, and that's Matthias. Apparently he's been flying up to uh, up Western Australia there on taxpayers' money for his own use. Now, I'm hoping that bullfed gets sacked as well, because he's just a big bloody idiot. Big bullfed idiot that doesn't, doesn't live in the real world and yet people voted for this mob I just don't get it They're only feathering their own nest so hopefully he'll get the sack that'll be good um, another think tank from uh, our illustrious Liberal government here let's hire someone to make a program and cross-reference people's tax numbers and their unemployment numbers and see if they owe us any money. Well, hasn't that worked out really well? People are getting letters that they owe thousands and thousands of dollars and they've never been on welfare. <laughs> oh, gee, I tell you. I don't know where they dream up these things, but it's ridiculous. So the haves and haves not, yeah, it's getting wider getting worse and what is the solution ah oh, we'll bring more people in that'll create more more jobs bullshit it will it will just create more unemployment it's ridiculous bringing in more people what we need to do is stop immigration altogether I'm not talking about any particular group I'm talking about immigration altogether and get this country back on its feet and the unemployment rate down and the underemployment rate down. There's two things that need to be done. 
before we start bringing more people in. Let's look after ourselves. But no, this government decides no. We're going to bloody crack down on the uh, on the poor and unfortunate by sending them out bills that they owe us money. Honestly, they don't deserve their bloody jobs. They really don't. They wouldn't know how to run a finger up their own bum. Anyway, enough of that rant. <clears throat> Give me your opinion. Is the gap getting wider? So, when I started the vlog, I was uh, saying about the little trip we had yesterday, which was a, a great day. We went to Murray Bridge and uh, visited a friend who's been uh, in hospital, etc. Just went up there to make sure he's all right and all that sort of thing. <clears throat> and uh, my mate Andrew, he came along with us and uh, Dodge Skits. He planned the route and took us uh, to roads that, well, we both hadn't been on before, uh, myself and Andrew. And he filmed and did an edit of the trip. And I thought he did an absolutely marvellous job. Fantastic job. Great edit. So what I'll do is I'll uh, point you in the right direction with a link down below to have a look at our little trip yesterday, which was Saturday, to Murray Bridge. And what I thought was fantastic was the actual uh, voice that was coming through because myself and Dodge have got the 20S centers and we can talk between each other. But our third person didn't have one, so Dodge led. I was behind him and uh, my mate was uh, behind me. So uh, everyone sort of knew what was going on because Dodge would say, oh, we turn up here and I could put my blinker on in plenty of time for the third person to know which way we're going. So anyway, uh, I thought it was a fantastic edit, edit and the voice that was coming through from myself was uh, incredible. I didn't, I didn't expect it to be that good. <coughs> bit of a dry throat here so yeah uh, if you get a chance have a look at that and uh, I think you'd enjoy it so uh, Bandit Nev on uh, Ruby the Suzuki Bandit on this lovely day in midsummer not hot not cold really nice going for a little ride up into them their hills by his lonesome, chilling out. It's my therapy. <laughs> Bidding you all a very, very, very safe riding. And until next time, cheers for now.